Oh my God. This oh. is actually happening <sighs> at the bottom left. The most hyped player in the world. Star Team Pokyoki. It means bomber. <laughs> and in the upper left, the current ranked number one player in the world champion of GSL season four. I am MVP. Team, they are pumped. I, hmm. Well, this is going to be very interesting. It's a map we haven't had a lot of games. A bunch of Blizzard guys right there. Yep. Some of the Blizzard people made this great game. Um, I got to say, man, this is going to be a pivotal, pivotal um, game here because one of these guys is going to win, and obviously the other one is going to lose. Um, and when you <laughs> lose one of those players, yeah. then you're losing your best player. Yeah. Someone is about to be without a queen. Without a queen? Like the chess reference, man. Oh, okay. What is your dirty mind thinking? Well, I was thinking about the, the Terran versus Zerg we just thought about. <laughs> I was like, oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel a little larva inject new players into the game. Refinery coming up next. Yeah, for MVP. Same for uh, Mr. Bomber. Now this map, very interesting. Third base, very easy to take, but mules will almost mine a whole patch by themselves because they only have 750 minerals. Yeah. And, uh, of course, there's nine patches in the main base, so you're going to get income a lot quicker as your SCV number raises over 16. Marines coming out. Going to be scouting each other at the same time. Oh, did not manage to uh, fire that SCV Ooh. first. And Bomber turned around by MVP's Marine. And MVP's SCV not being turned around by Bombers sees a second refinery going up. So more information for MVP, the world's greatest player. And this will be intercepted. So... I don't know what to say because both these guys are so awesome at Terran versus Terran. It's going to be tough to exactly predict how they think the best way to play this map out is. Yeah. You know? You know, both of them are going for the double gas. Teching up. Both of them getting their factories going. Nobody Bombers rushing tech for a little expansion. bit quicker. Hmm. Might we see Siege Tank Marine? Just a super solid opening. Could be... So many Terrans um, are tempted to expand in Terran versus Terran. Yeah. That's oh, quite a okay. Bomber's going for Blue Flame Hellion. All right. Blue Flame Hellion it is. Will he make a starport? Yes. Yes, he will. Marines moving out again. Starport yeah. coming. Reactor. Hmm. Both these guys sticking with Hellion Marine emphasis. I wonder. Uh, MVP just threw up his tech lab. He might be going for a Siege Tank Viking build, which we don't see very often, but is very, very strong against... Uh, no, it doesn't look like that. Okay. So actually, as he starts yet another tech lab on that production tab... Oh, and look at this. Nice little pressure here. And whoa, whoa, messes whoa. up a little bit. That angle was pretty bad. Ouch. This MVP is up huge. A little bit, but taking out. Oh, snaps that. Hellion right out of there. And MVP, very smart, cutting his losses. Bomber losing two SCVs. 24 to 22 SCVs right now. MVP in the lead. And he is going Siege Tank Banshee, which just gets scanned against a Blue Flame Hellion drop. So I got to tell you, I like the Siege Tank uh, Banshee opening. Well, he's definitely going to be in better shape. Yeah. Uh, the Siege Tank can take out Hellions quite quickly, and Banshee as well, of course. And he can always throw out a uh, Viking real quick to chase down that dropship, stop any harassment. Here comes the drop, but I, as MVP far as I can knows. tell, the MVP senses it. He knows. Yeah. Saw those Hellions. You have more than one Hellion. 
That's what it means. No. Uh oh. Spotted. But those are blue flame aliens. That's right. And it looks like that is it for that drop. Makes sense for um, him to go ahead and just turn around there. Ah, the Banshee catching a Hellion as well. Stuff is not going well for Bomber. No, it's not. He is being caught at every turn. Banshee playing some map control there. And, well, he does not have Cloak. He is not even getting Cloak. So, the Viking that was being made earlier should be able to kill this Banshee very, very quickly. And there it is. Banshee Intercepted. No cloak. Yeah. There's even lucky a missile turret. Can... Oh, man. man. Not, not a even... single kill. That was the least kills I've ever seen on a Banshee. Banshees are normally born with five to eight kills. Yeah, no kidding. Normally, even if, like, the Banshees... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, normally, the Banshees even taking uh, any uh, shots, it'll still manage to blow away enough SCDs mm. to make it pay for itself. But in that case, no. Nope. Two of the top level players in the world, man. That's what happens. Both at 28 SCVs right now, so very, very even. Supply-wise, 51 supply each. Both got supply capped at 51 for like one second and then went up. Viking out. MVP has started his command center quicker. He wasn't forced into making any turrets. So he had more minerals. Now here comes the drop. He has a Viking to spot, but I believe that's actually out of his range of vision. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh but he does uh -oh. have a lot of buildings at the top end of his base, and he does not see it yet. There it is. Oh, but this angle is not good. No, there's everything's just waiting for him. They say hello. Oh, not enough. Does lose a few uh, SCVs there. And this... Medivac is just like, why can't I fly upward? Uh, 26 Sorry. SCVs against 32. Bomber in the lead. Bomber is taking an expansion, but now, it's that he does, weird third base location. He does have a Raven. They actually both have Ravens. Uh-oh. And here we go in the middle of the map. He may have to... Uh, well, no, I guess he wanted to point defense around here. I was going to say he might have to point defense around to keep that Raven alive. Turns well, out they are catching it. He's taking a high amount of damage on it. Is he going to get it? No! Ooh, very nice. But MVP has just got the bigger army, but he could be walking into a trap. That's a trap. Thank you, Tasteless Akbar. Admiral Tasteless Akbar. <laughs> Admiral Tasteless. It's I like go to that military school. Just be, you know, Akbar. Uh, right title. now, a good SCV lead for Bomber. It's up to 29 SCVs against 36. Rather, he's at 36. Uh, well, it's been a little bit back and forth, but I feel like Bomber's been a little bit up against the ropes for most of this match. At least from the start. You know, the drops he's done, they've killed SCVs, mm. yeah. but not enough SCVs. Yeah, yeah, I, I like MVP's position, and it looks like, what will we be seeing here? Ah, oh. uh, a couple I of auto find turrets. That questionable, that move, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of like it. I don't feel like there's going to be a use for point defense drone for at least a little bit, and that's way slowing down his mining. I guess he does, I was thinking he doesn't really kill that many SCVs, but no. you know what? He's killed like one SCV or so. Yeah. I guess for, to do that for free. So and he has to bring his entire army back and deal with it, you know? These things last a while. And in fact, he ends up killing... He has four kills on that Raven now, so... Uh, uh, doing a great job, actually. He's getting a higher and higher in SCV stasis. Bomber at 40, MVP at 29. All right. Once again, MVP moving out. MVP with a little bit more army dominance. 18 Marines from... Uh, but yeah, MVP has 101 supply against 97, yet 12 less SCVs. So his army is going to be superior, but Bomber is going up to three base now. 18. So he's just got to turtle up for a little bit. 18 Marines 
uh, from him for 32 for MVP. That's a lot of stimmed damage. But take a look here. <clears throat> no, not here. We just lost a shot of it. Viking Bombers' power. defensive position is pretty good. <coughs> and MVP Damn. snaps the Raven out of the Viking Flower. Bomber cannot be happy with that. It's a very expensive unit. That was pretty impressive. He's going to do another drop back here into his opponent's main. Hmm. Uh, MVP also moving down the map. Might be hitting that third base. And he knows he's coming. He runs nice away. Nice evacuation. No Mind loss is taken there. Find out a good amount of that expansion. And right now the Hellion drop is about to occur. Want to see me down. He's not exactly using it as quick as he can. Oh, and back. We have a battle going on. A lot of Marines dying. MVP deciding it's time to start pushing. I believe you guys had the Viking advantage. Am I incorrect? No. Uh, right now, one Viking against two. No, Bomber no, has the advantage of two Vikings. All right, he's going to do this, though. So he just sacks those Marines. Oh, he's going to back up. I think he thought he had predicted that the distance that these shakes are going to be at, so he could take some shots at him. Now, this is just a sign of a good player. Is mm. You know, he says, yeah, you know what, this isn't working, I'm going to pull out. And he just occupies, look at that, he occupies the location where this command center would want to land. Oh, he might be able to take it out, and that would be a pretty big deal. He's going to take it out for sure. Wow, that big mistake there by Bomber. But Bomber looking like he may want to try a flank. I think he's trying to catch MVP when MVP moves out. Now, this is actually becoming a little bit scary for MVP. Because yeah, sort of stuck his down units here. aren't in a good area at all. Yeah. And if he engages unseaged, he is going to be wiped. We have a drop, though, going into the back of Bomber's base. In his main base, we do have a Marine drop. And Bomber, Bomber counterattacking. Bomber's going to counter. Oh, my. And remember, most of MVP's army is yeah. actually down at the bottom. MVP's army is out of position right now, and Bomber going to lose a ton of SCVs there coming in to attack into that. But, oh my, this is actually an insane game. They're very close on SCVs now, but here we go. This is going to be the very important attack. Sea Shank's getting a lot of damage because the Stim Marines are holding everything back. Here come the SCVs, though. MVP realizing he can't hold on. The rest of his army is on the way. And Tasus, if he can crush this army, it's going to be a good thing for him. Sea Shanks have broken through the front lines of MVP, but from behind, some auto turrets being thrown down as stims. he stems and runs in. He bum rushes it right away. And sea Shanks hitting as well. This is an interesting game indeed. Those auto turrets, great usage in them. Picking up the Sea Shank and trying to get out of there, saving what he can, where he can. And after all that, we have 36 SCVs for MVP, 49 for Bomber. Bomber in the lead. Bomber could take out the champion of GSL. That's right. He's up 20 Season supply. Four. Yeah. 121 to 101 supply right now. And note right that now. MVP had to throw his SCVs into that just for them to tank damage so his damage dealers could stay in this. Yeah. But MVP right now, a better army overall. He has eight seed shanks against just four of his opponents. He still has his Raven as well. It's been very, very useful. Uh-oh, uh -oh. he moves forward a little bit too far. These Marauders are going to oh be absolutely deadly. Oh, my God, I think deadly. Bomber's got this. Yeah, Bomber clearing out the rest of MVP's siege tanks, and uh -oh. suddenly... Uh-oh. Bomber showing us why everyone's been talking about how well Bomber plays affecting the situation. Somehow, some way, Bomber he is crushing. Is so sick. MVP actually has something like a 95% win rate in this matchup. And Bomber is staying toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, blow for blow. And he's, he's ahead, man. That's it. It's 45 SCVs against 45 SCVs, but he's up 26 supply. 100 supply for MVP, 126 for Bomber. Both players not being able to take a third base. There have been tries, but just no go. They're just both too good. Bomber, man. This guy... 
is a serious nerd boss. And it looks like he's going to try to slip over here. Uh, does walk in a sea check fire. He's got to be careful not to overextend himself. Meanwhile, I have a small drop over here in the back. Uh, but there's a bigger battle over here. You do have, you yeah, the, the drop in the back and the big battle. A lot going on in the map right now. And I think oh, Bomber no. is going to get in a position where he's going to win, Tasis. I think he's These about to win. These are going to be... But there are oh, sea tanks on the high ground for MVP. Before. They were hidden under trees. Very well done siege there. Siege tanks hiding in the bushes. But a dropping up on them now. MVP has to get more units over there. Those sea tanks are so, so important, but they are out of here. Oh my god. MVP. He's on a 69 spike against 118. Someone is going to beat the game genie, Terran. Oh my god. This is a tense atmosphere in here. MVP does have a drop going around. Uh, yeah, we have an expansion going up as well for Bomber. But MVP is just, he's so hurt right now. MVP is pretty solid though. I mean, for even staying oh, alive this long. I just did not yeah. expect Bomber to be so good that he'd get away with this. It's pretty insane, but a four Marine drop. Going to try to even up the odds a little bit. Bomber's army is way out of position. So hopefully these Marines in the base of uh, Bomber can do something. Well, they're just killing supply depots. I guess we're not going to look at that. This and is gets chased away. Escapes. Is that smoking spot? That was a depot. That's all. No biggie. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. It's in depot heaven. Uh, okay. Stim coming up here. Oh, oh man. Drop. Very good move. move. Trying to snipe siege tanks. Get his own siege tanks into a good position. But uh -oh. he doesn't have a lot. MVP with more siege tanks right now. And Bomber getting a little bit over anxious. MVP going to clear out the rest of the siege tanks at Bomber. This is one of the most impressive Terran vs. Terrans I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. MVP saving that last Marine. Every single unit on the map matters for MVP. He's he's closing the supply gap a little bit, surprisingly. I thought he was going to have to just leave the game, but he is closing it a little bit. And Ace, he can clean up this little army in the middle that he's attacking into. MVP coming down, and he's going to want to take out all those oh medevacs if God. possible. Huge move by MVP. Keeping the supplies in check a little bit. 106 to 127. MVP, can he close the gap? Planetary Fortress finishes over there, denying that Marine any more access to the SCVs. He has a lot of siege tanks, though. Now he, he's going to siege up and take out this Planetary Fortress. I can't see him saving this by any measure, but, but that will, will give him the chance to counterattack. What will his opponent do? Will he go and try to save it? Will he just go counterattack the main base? I'd counterattack. You know, if MVP, this is getting so close. MVP on the comeback trail, 114 supply to 123. It's time for him to siege up this expansion, taking a ton of damage. And it looks like his plan may be to just lose that, I guess. And now MVP's got to turn around. He's got a hightail at home. Tasteless. He might be able to take this game. He's got more siege tanks his opponent. Bomber relying more on Marauders, trying to get into a good position. But MVP can flank this. He's got a huge amount of units out on the map, a good amount of units up on the high ground. The supply is very, very close right now, and he's going to move up, stimming from both directions, running in, flanking the siege tanks. This is absolutely huge. An amazing comeback by M M MVP. I cannot believe what I'm I seeing. I cannot even comprehend how good MVP's Terran versus Terran is. How is this happening? It, it's unreal. Uh... He was behind for like what? Like what, like eight minutes or something? I got really nerd behind. bumps all over my I'm body, tasteless. Geek chills, serious geek chills down my spine. Bomber just, I don't think he has enough left, tasteless. It's tied supply at this point, but five sea chanks against eight. Most of his supply go. is in. Oh my god, I'll tell you later. It's a bunch of sea chanks coming in, and it looks like I'm MVP takes the game. I'm an epic comeback!